Hey, here we are visiting the class. We've got a special teacher. Good morning. My name is Sister Yvette Rayleigh, and I'm the fourth grade math teacher. And I'd like to thank you for joining us today um, for math. All righty. Um, guys, we're going to start on page 113. And this um, lesson today is reduced, is on reducing fractions. This should be a review for most of you because we did a little bit of this last year, okay? Um, when we reduce fractions, we're looking for the greatest common um, factor. The greatest common factor, exactly. And how do we go about finding the greatest common factor? What do we do? The first step. We find the what? Common denominator. The most common multiple. The common multiple. Okay, so let's look. At, let's find the factors for four. One. Uh huh. Two. two four, four. four. Okay. Now let's find the factors for a. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Four. And eight. Okay. Now, what is the greatest common factor? Four. 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 So we're going to divide the numerator by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. one. one. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2. two. Okay, so we've just reduced 4 eighths to 1 half. And these two fractions are what? Are they equal? Yes. yes. Exactly. Very good, Bria. They're equivalent. Let me show you the illustration. We have an illustration for 4 eighths. Okay. The bottom number tells us what? Uh, how, how many equal parts? parts? How many equal parts? Very good, Urban. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. The numerator tells us what? How many, how many, many parts? parts? How many parts have been used? Very good, Kiana. So we've got four parts that are shaded. Okay. The reduced fraction is one half. How many equal parts do we have in this fraction? Two. 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 How many parts have we used? One. One. So we shaded the top half. Does this illustration look like this illustration? No. Yes. Yes, no. yes it does. Which means four eighths is equal to one half. Now, if they're equal, does that mean one fraction is bigger than the other? No. No, because no, equal means that they're the same. All right, so on your desk, take out your boards. And we're going to use the exact same process here to reduce 6 tenths, 5 fifteenths, 10 fourteenths, and 18 twenty-fourths. Okay, very good. All right, let's go ahead and write 5 fifteenths. Okay, find the greatest common factor. While you guys are doing that, remember 5 is a what? Prime it's a prime number. Very good. And prime numbers mean what? They're only, only divisible by one and itself. They're only divisible by one and itself. So what's going to be the greatest common factor for five and fifteen? Five. 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 Okay, and quickly someone tell me the reduced fraction. Okay. One third. Very good. One third. Alright, let's look at the next one. Ten fourteenths. Find the factors for 10. Find the factors for 14. Okay, what's your answer, Kiana? Five sevenths. Did everyone get five sevenths? Yes. Good job. What was the greatest common factor?